In this video, we're going to talk about perimeter and area as it pertains to pre-algebra. Okay, so first we're going to go over, over a couple formulas. So for perimeter, um, the perimeter is the distance around a figure. So for example, for a triangle, in order to find the perimeter, we would add side A plus side B plus side C as shown here. Okay, if we wanted to find the perimeter of a square, all sides are the same length. So we could either add the sides four times, or we can just do four times the side length. And the last perimeter formula we're going to talk about is the rectangle. Okay, in the rectangle we have two sides that are the same length. We also have, um, and then we have two other sides that are the same length. We have the length and the width. So we can either add up the length plus the length plus the width plus the width, or we can just do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So for this one, in order to find the perimeter of this triangle, I would add up 10 plus 4 plus 7. And I would get 21. Okay? So I would get 21. My unit is centimeters, so I'm going to say 21 centimeters. Remember to always label. Okay? Then we're going to look at the square, finding the perimeter of the square. Now we could either add 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, or I'm going to do it the short way, and I'm just going to do 4 times my side length, which is 6, which is going to be 24. And my unit is feet, so I'm going to say 24 feet. Okay. The last one um, for perimeter for the um, rectangle down here, using my formula that I previously looked at, which is the 2L plus 2W. I'm going to do 2 times 12, because that's my length. And I'm going to add that to 2 times 7. So 2 times 12 is 24. Add that to 2 times 7, which is 14. And I will get 38. And my unit is centimeters, so I'm going to say centimeters. Okay. Now, if I wanted to throw some algebra in there, okay, ooh, scary. Um, I'm going to find the perimeter of this shape right here, the rectangle. Okay. Still the same idea. I'm going to do two times my length, but instead of my length being a nice pretty number, it's actually going to be a very, uh, um, an expression. So I have 4x plus 3. So 2 times 4x plus 3. And I'm going to add that to my other, my width. And I'm going to do 2 times 2x plus 2. All right. Then I'm going to have to use the distributive property to simplify my answer because I can't leave it like this. So I'm going to get my arrows popping in both expressions. So this first one, I'm going to do 2 times 4x, which is 8x. Then I'm going to do 2 times 3, which is 6. All right, then I'm going to add my next expression. So 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times 2, which is 4. And then I have to combine my like terms. So in this case, my like terms would be 8x plus 4x, which would be 12x. 
and then 6 plus 4, which would equal 10. And that would be my answer, 12x plus 10. All right, in this in the um, triangle, we're just going to simply add up all our sides. So I'm going to do 4x plus 1, which is right here, plus x plus 4. And then I'm going to add 3x plus 1. I'm going to combine my like terms. So in this case, my like terms are 4x, x, and 3x, which is going to give me 8x. And then I'm going to do 1 plus 4 plus 1, which would be 6. My answer for the perimeter of this triangle would be 8x plus 6. All right, so um, we're going to transition into area now. So the area of a figure is basically the square units of a figure. It's the area of the inside stuff, okay? So the area of a triangle, just to remind you, is the base, this whole base, times the height, okay? Divided by 2, okay? The area of a square in a rectangle can basically be the same thing. We're just going to do the length times the width, or in this case, the side times the side. We could also do side squared if we wanted to do it that way as well. Okay, so let's look at some examples here. So finding the area of the figure below, I'm going to do my length times my width. So I'm just going to do 12 times 7. And 12 times 7 is 84. So I'm going to do 84. And my units are centimeters. And because I'm finding the square units, I need to do centimeters squared. Okay. Let's look at this area of the triangle. So my base in this problem, and this is um, can get potentially confusing if they give you a lot of information like they do in this problem. The, we only need to worry about two numbers in this particular example. So we're going to look at the uh, base, which in this case is 14. We're going to multiply it by the height. Now the height is the uh, line that makes a 90 degree angle so it's straight up and down it is not the 6 and it is not the 12 so it is the 5 okay and I'm gonna do that divided by 2 I'm gonna make my problem a little easier I'm gonna go make 14 a 7 divided by 2 to make that 1 which then just makes my problem a little bit easier which is 7 times 5 which then makes it 35. In this particular problem, we don't have units, so I'm just going to put units squared because I don't know what it is. Okay. All right, the last two examples we're going to do is going to throw some algebra in there again. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to look at this rectangle first and we're going to come back to the triangle. So the rectangle, we're going to do the length times the width. So I'm going to set my problem up like this. I have 8 plus 7b, which is my length. And I'm going to multiply that by 4. If you recognize this, it's the distributive property, so I'm going to get my arrows popping. And I'm going to do 4 times 7b, which is going to be 28b. And I'm going to add that to 4 times 8, which is 32. And that would be my answer. Okay. All right, looking at the area of a triangle. In this case, we have um, our area formula for an area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So I'm going to set it up like this. So I have my base times my height. And I'm going to divide it all by 2. 
in order to make this a little easier, I'm actually going to divide these. Because if I were to do the distributive property first, it could get complicated trying to divide that by 2. So watch what I do. I'm going to take the 10 and the 2, and I'm actually going to divide those first. So 10 div divided by 2 is 5. So what's going to happen is I'm going to make a problem that's a little bit easier, and I'm going to have 5 times 3 plus A. It makes the distributive property a little easier. I also don't have a... Um, denominator in my problem anymore. So I'm going to get my arrows popping. I'm going to do 5 times 3, which is 15. And I'm going to add that to 5 times A, which is 5A. And that would be my answer. All right. Come to class with any questions you might have. Otherwise, thank you very much.